sure. Let's go do this. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Apparently, isn't it 12 a.m.? Huh. Okay, it did happen at 2 a.m. this morning. Maybe it's time zone dependent, so it's like everything rolls back at like the same time. Everyone that participates in daylight savings time, if I had to guess, is probably the reason for that. Probably. Probably there. We're starting to come into the mall. Yeah, I think that the mall itself opens at 9 a.m., but a lot of the stores open at 10 a.m. Like, I'm looking up, like, at the two, uh, you know, floors here and stuff like that, and I see that a lot of the stores all around here are still, like, you know, shut. They're, uh, not quite open yet. And, uh, just like yesterday, which still feels like today, starting to get some spectators up on the second floor there again, looking in at what's going on around here. But yeah, not gonna be going on for a uh, too, too much longer here. Hey, let's go do this restart thing with Bob here, I guess. So, are the auto lifts still out of action? I'm afraid so. Captain Rush wanted them up and running again, though. He's been working on it with engineering. Strong as a clout, eh? Rush may be captain, but he's got a real careless streak. Other units are always on his back. Anyway, some of the adjustments have been finished. Oh, so they work. Merc is maybe a strong word. We've taken ourselves off the list of targets, so they shouldn't behave like they did before. In theory. Better put that theory into practice then. I don't fancy another tango with those buckets of bolts. Oh, then you should come with me. I'm sure about that. I just want to do a little behavioral test. You can help out. Sure, but it's just a small task. Okay, stupid question. What's it gonna do to us if it doesn't behave like you want it to? Very good question, actually. Be happy to answer it in detail. In the Orion tunnels. I see some relations of Whoops. Okay. I think there's a landmark right there. Maybe I'll do this one. And then I might start getting packed up. Yeah, you know it must be bizarre being a customer at the mall and not knowing about the event. Just walk in and see a bunch of people playing video games and streaming. Yeah, not only that, like we had this the way that it was earlier is like there was this whole half for like streaming and content creation. And then that half over there was like a whole public access area where, you know, there was all sorts of different booths of different sponsors and stuff like that, that, you know, we're talking to anyone that wanted to chat with them about, you know, what their organization is. There was a big, like, inflatable mini obstacle course thing for kids to go into and, like, you know, shoot one another with Nerf guns and stuff like that earlier. And there was live music being played on the stage here, like all from, like, game OST. So there was a lot of people that were, you know, crowded around up there that were just like watching the live orchestra and stuff. There'd be like small bands, there was a small orchestra, and sometimes there'd be like individual people up there that were just doing things like acoustic guitar. Oh, there's one of the stores that almost, almost started opening up. I guess someone just went in there. I just see some things starting to move. Some things are shifting around here as stuff is starting to open for the day. Um, but yeah, and there was some really cool live music playing. I swear, I heard Aquatic Ambience play like, you know, three or four times, all from different groups. <laughs> Interestingly enough, um, one of the ones that I was kind of impressed with myself identifying was Kanashiro's Palace from Persona 5. Just because I only somewhat recently played Persona 5 for the first time when it released on the Switch like late last year. <laughs> I recognized that. I was like, whoa, it's that theme. And it was a bit of a bop. That was, uh, that was good. Hello, hello, Rico Man. The stream has been going very tiring. That's how it's been going. And I... I don't know how much more I have in me here, because my goodness gracious, this has been a this has been a bit of a time. Hey, there you are. Yeah, just saying, if you lose control of that thing, it will be mincemeat. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. I can stop it immediately if it shows any sign of going rogue. Bet you anything, it's gonna go wrong again. Like this. I'll be fine, probably. It's crackers, lady. Don't move it without telling us. Hopefully nobody trips. Look on the bright side. Show no hostility towards us. Oh, that wasn't the test. I mean, come on. What good is this thing if it's not going to fight potential threats for us? Nah, most of it was Metal Gear Solid 2. Is the game that took up the most time. Because that was 15 hours. 
So it was kind of like, a, it was kind of like the uh, 24 hour cherry stream five where I played 15 hours of Dark Souls three in that one. Only I didn't beat that. I was still quite a ways from beat. I got through like half of it. But Metal Gear Solid two, that was all the way start to uh, start to finish there. Yeah, that boss took me a little while there. It was kind of fun though. You know, he was, <laughs> there were some times that I was getting a little bit frustrated with him. But for the most part, he was kind of cool. Definitely not my favorite boss of the of the game there, but it, he was interesting, you know. I don't expect to see many enemies around here, though. I only just switched to Xenoblade, like, less than an hour ago, I think. Just because we finished Xenoblade 3. Xenoblade 3. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, and I had some extra time. But not enough time to start a new playthrough, like, a short thing start to finish. So I was like, let's just play something that I already have, like, a playthrough done of, and there's more content that I can do. So, like, Xenoblade 3 has been done on the channel for some time now, but there's still, like, more quests that I want to do. I want to do Ascension quests. I did one of them. I don't think I have any more in me. So I'm just screwing around with, like, random quests, passing the time here while destroying my sleep even more. <laughs> it's kind of what's going on here. <laughs> it was a bit of a funny boss. Yeah, that was my plan, but, you know, <laughs> I don't think any of the other Fragapalooza people here are here anymore. The main thing that Fragapalooza was here to help out with was the, uh, you know, the setup of the cabling, like laying out all the cabling and stuff. But I assume that a lot of Fragapalooza people are going to have to be back here again for takedown, considering some of the Ethernet cables and stuff. I'm fairly certain are Frag's equipment. And there's still like, you know, the banner and stuff there that they're probably not going to want to leave. So I find it odd that I'm. Uh, I was planning on helping with tear down. At this point, I I don't know. We'll see here what I have in me, you know, because it's a uh, it's been a little bit of a toll. Too many enemies around here, though. Are gonna fight us? I'm sure there's some soldiers bumbling around here somewhere. There's been a lot of them wandering right in lately, and your auto love can track them down. It's not out of the question. We haven't tested it. Yeah, I should have. Sure, it's fine to keep up the banner. Yeah, as people go, like, skating on the ice rink here. I'm sure they'll totally love to just be, like, the frag of blues of that. That seems about right. Oh, uh, man. So I'm gonna need to bring the enemies to us. What? You want us to lure them? That's right. I'm testing his behavior, and in a battle, you'd be fighting alongside the auto love, see? Make it sound so easy. Okay, we'll see what we can do. I did say we'd help if we could. Thanks. Okay, uh, we're over the enemy soldiers. It wants me to, eh? Maybe I can go here or something? I don't know. I don't know. I see them starting to take down some of the, I mean, all the stalls over there for like the different groups took away all their stuff like late yesterday. But I guess now they're taking down like the poles and the curtains and stuff like that. That got everything set up there. That's what it looks like. Stuff is starting to be put away. I don't know exactly how the stage stuff is going to be put away. I saw this morning them assemble a lot of it. Like they had the stage here. They didn't have the big screen there. It's one of these screens that just has like multiple little square screens that assemble together into one big screen with the powers combined. Kind of interesting. Yeah, it probably is a pretty rare specimen, but meh. Wait. Oh. Alright, well, I will just go this way then. In that case. Uh, I just put myself further back for no reason. Sounds like there's some announcement stuff going on about a fundraising total. I mean, I'm sure a lot of the people here might be half dead as well. I mean, kind of like me. Just yesterday, but you raised over two hundred and eleven thousand dollars. I don't know if my microphone the picked that up. It's not a. That can't be at this event alone. Because yeah, that's in the hundreds of thousands of dollars total fundraise. There's no way that's at this venue alone. That's got to be like general extra life stuff. Surely. Yeah. 200k there. And then like 2023 total. It was like 300k sub. Which is a whole lot. 
raise for charity for children's hospitals. I assume that's not for the story specifically. Extra Life is always across, like, you know, children's hospitals in general, across, like, the country and Canada and the States and maybe some other places. I'm not sure. Um, where am I going, man? I'll just follow this mindlessly. Uh, yeah, that's still really good. But yeah, I would be curious to hear, like, what this specific land get together would a fundraise total. That'd be an interesting number to hear, you know? I would be intrigued to hear that. Okay, well, still pretty neato there. But yeah. How popular streamers do you have there? Beats me. I don't know any of them. <laughs> Not a clue. But, you know, I, uh, and I guess I didn't really wander around and see what's going on or anything. So, to be fair, I guess I wouldn't really know. But, yeah, I think, uh, as far as I'm aware, like, the impression that I get is it's just, like, a whole bunch of, uh, small content creators coming together to help, you know, chip in for a good cause and stuff like that, you know. And all that. But, who knows, maybe, uh, I don't know any, literally any at all, unless you count, like, other Fragapalooza staff and stuff, you know. Unless that counts. Apart from that, no. I, uh, I know none. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty around here, but I kind of lost interest in being part of, like, any stream communities many, many years ago, and I kind of haven't looked into it in years. <laughs> it's it's kind of the case. Because I, uh, I remember when I first started out streaming, like, five years ago, I heard, like, oh, it's super important to be, like, part of stream communities and, like, network with people and stuff like that. I was like, oh, I should totally do that. I started joining, like, a bunch of stream communities. I quickly found out that stream communities are typically, like, you know, just everyone trying to promote their own thing and not really trying to build, like, any connections or anything like that. Just be like, oh, everyone, come over and see my thing. My thing's super cool. Yeah, that's it. I'm not ever going to talk about anything but my thing. You know, and you never really got to know anybody through that. And, you know, it's, and that space is also plagued, like, by a whole lot of, you know, follow for follow, sub for sub, you know, whole, all sorts of crap like that. I know that's not indicative of, like, every community, but, you know, ever since dealing with that for however many months that I was trying, that I was genuinely trying to network with other creators through that, it just kind of killed my interest in, you know, being part of, like, many creator community kind of stuff, which is also why I kind of didn't really look into any local Extra Life stuff going on here. Like, I still, you know, did my Extra Life charity stream and, you know, raised thousands of dollars for the Stollier Children's Hospital over the years through this channel. But, you know, I was perfectly content just doing it on my own, doing my own thing, being in my office there, just big chilling, going for 24 hours and doing all sorts of challenges and stuff like that. I, uh, <laughs> I never really thought about making an effort to go be a part of like some bigger event kind of thing the only reason why i was a part of this one is because i got an email from a one of the main fragapalooza organizers that was like hey from like frag staff and volunteers and stuff here who can we uh get to help at the extra life event because we need people here and you know <laughs> that turned out to be the one fragapalooza person that went like all the way through whoa you know i mean most of the frag people here were just like here to represent frag and uh, get stuff set up and they were in charge of like the floor plan how all the electrical was gonna get set up but you know i received that uh i received that email and that was like my call to action and stuff like that there in the hero's journey and now i find myself coming here when it's something that I probably would <laughs> probably not have considered before and you know part of me was debating about you know taking some time to like explore around and chat with some people about like their streams and get to know some people around here locally but I, I had quite a lot of stuff going on over here. I had like some community stuff going on. What with like my game night, player stuff there. That was my uh, social interactions for the day. You know, maybe one day if I warm up enough, then you know, maybe I'll chat with some people around here. But you know, it uh, like I'm sure that the people around here are probably you know, plenty nice and stuff like that. I probably love to chat about gaming stuff. But you know, it's especially in the online sphere. reaching out to and trying to be involved with those kinds of communities. Even though I know that it's clearly not indicative with, you know, you know, the experiences I've had clearly aren't indicative of, like, the larger picture or anything like that, at least I hope. Um, but, uh, 
you know, it's still, I'm just nowadays kind of ingrained in my ways of like, hey, I'm doing this on my own along with like anybody that I just so happen to meet along the way that I'll gladly support and stuff, you know, gladly meet other small content creators along the way and see what comes of it, but not really go out of my way to make it. Oh, it looks like there's some other fragments. There's some people here that are probably here to start helping with tear down and stuff, including Mr. Judo that sent me the email in the first place. Um, let's see here. I am at, at over there o'clock. Whoa, so lure them over. Messy soldiers, eh? How are we to bring them with us exactly? How about we send one person out as a bait to lure them in? If we all go, they'll just scatter. Can't think of any better ideas. Okay, let's get it over with. I can send just one person over? Is that an option I even have in this video game? Thanks for volunteering. What, me? A Kabessi, in it? Do any good if I toggle my Kabessi bum over there? Well, I suppose not, no. We need someone who's quick and on the ball, yeah? Okay, fine, I'll do it. Oh, I'm dropping frames again. Well, I passed the 25 hour mark total. No. Hey, you, what are you up to? Someone from Colony Lambda? Whatever, I'll make you talk once we take you in. How do you know immediately what colony I'm from? How's that work? Giraffe over there, get her! Unless they just assume that because it's like the closest other colony there. Not in one. So yeah, it's just cutsy. It's not gameplay wise there, I guess. Nice work. That was nerve wracking. We're just gonna wait here. Aren't they actively chasing? Let's get back to the auto left. Okay. Well, here we are. Yeah, I think this is the last side quest that I'll do tonight, most likely. I see soldiers are on their way. Wow, well, you really did it. Why, well, you thought we'd snuff up. Who cares? Get the auto level warmed up. They're coming. I'm gonna adjust my microphone to over here a little bit. Like, I realized I was kind of talking away from it a little bit. Apologies if I was hard to hear. My chair was turned one way and my mic was on the other side of the table, but oh well. So, I guess the thing where Bob is fighting with us. But, you know, I'm probably just gonna auto battle this. Can I auto battle it? I can't. Whatever. My allies will handle it. But yeah, do involve yourself with other streamers, but never the expectation will follow you or whatever else. Yeah, that's fair enough there. Hey, you know, I'm sure that there's a lot of people that share that same mentality, but there's also a lot of people that fall into the mindset of like, oh, you know, gotta, gotta do it with expectations and stuff like that. And, you know, experiencing a lot of that killed my motivation for that kind of thing. And, you know, I, in recent years, I haven't really felt the need to, uh, you know, go involve myself with other creators all that much, so... You know, I don't really feel like I'm missing out. But if I happen to, you know, meet anyone along the way, that then, you know, I'm open to like new connections and stuff like that. Like that's how I met Guzma. <laughs> you know, we were familiar with one another's channels and then like one thing led to another and nowadays, you know, he was here just a couple months ago. Like here in this very mall. <laughs> and we were exploring around together. You know, it's crazy how uh things can one thing can lead to another sometimes. You know. I already hear shares since I am, but meh. Yeah, I, I do prefer to hear that kind of stuff. I should have realized it myself because it's like this uh, microphone where it's like, it'll get the audio the best when you're speaking right towards it. And I was turned like this because I had my legs up on this other chair for a leg rest, but that's that's on me, you know, for just needing to take it easy and stuff here. That went well. Yeah, I must look pretty good too. That's good. That was good there how it would react, but it all turned out fine. Oh, you were worried, were you? I have to say, though, it's looking more or less battle-ready at this point. Yep, thanks for your help. Am I done with the side quest now? Time to discuss the deployment with Tulgrim, whatever that is, or whoever that is. I've got a little thank you for you, too, so pop by later. I actually need to pop by to wrap up the quest? Or what's going on here? Does she have a standstill? No, I'm not done yet. But yeah, the noise gate might be turned away. I mean, the noise gate isn't that crazy, but yeah. I mean, it's not supposed to be that crazy, at least. No, results may vary, I find, with noise gate. So. <laughs> a little bit of a... A little bit of sketchy territory sometimes. But man, 
At least it's probably better than earlier in the stream where, you know, could barely hear me or the game over, like, the music that was playing, right? You know, being a bit cut off. Oh, well. Gotta use your imagination to fill in the gaps, I guess. Just fill it in with, like, the most creative stuff imaginable. Hey, I made it. Is everything still okay? Yep, we're hunky-dory. Seems just finished all the fine-tuning and we're in talks with the survey branch. Probably be able to properly relaunch it soon, so thanks for helping us get to this point. Hardly did anything, really. No need to thank us. In that case, would you be willing to help us out again if any of these tin cans go wrong in the future? And now, don't push your luck. I'm joking. We know how to handle ourselves. Well, why didn't you do it this time? I well, really am grateful to you. I th don't think we could have done this without you. Yeah, just try not to break it. We're Captain Careless, he owes us one. Captain Rush smoothed things over between the teams. He's pretty reliable in battle, too. Lots of experience. I don't know who any of these characters are, honestly. I'll pass it on, thanks. Well... Alright, that might be the last gameplay content that I do tonight. So I might well do... Maybe I'll just save here. I might just start packing up, I think. Like, I... It's good I was about to say, like, where'd, uh, where'd John go? One of the Fryapalooza Judos, but he's over there. Maybe I should go ask him if he needs any help, like, you know taking stuff down. Oh, that stuff here, because we're probably going to start unplugging stuff here pretty soon. I mean, how many people are still Vigijamin? Not a lot. There are still some people, but it looks like I'm one of the last here. If I go to only camera. Yeah, like, you can see a, uh, there's definitely still a few, but, you know, it's, uh, not quite a whole lot. I don't think that there's anybody left in this row that's doing anything anymore. I think everyone's packing and everything away here. Oh, no, there might be one on the one on the corner. But, uh, over there, I see that there is one fighting me somewhere over there that you can't even really see on the camera. I don't know if there's anyone else. Everyone's, like, packing everything away here. This is the case. It's about that time. You know, it's about that time. Yeah. Here, how about before I wrap things up, if I'm going to be here for a little bit packing up, how about I do it at a rest spot? Was there one in here? Uh, I wish I could just show, like, the local map really easily here. Ah, there. Shelter? No. How about, like, an actual campsite? The uh, music there is always, like, I really like the rest spot music in a... Xenoblade 3. Let's listen to that while I start packing some crap up. Stuff. You know. Alright. Let's make the yeah. most of our break, guys. Let's see here. I'm not discussing anything right now. Let's save. It's good to keep a record. Like that. I'm done. I'm done video gaming. I'll do some of it. Why not? And then there's the excuse of, like, the stream going on a little bit longer. You know, all of my computer stuff here, you know, is obviously going to have to have the stream ended. Before we can do too, too much of that. But, you know. I am not driving myself home, because that would not be safe. I am getting a ride. You know, in wake of my sleepiness. I would be hit with here and all that. Um, I'll just send a quick update there. Let's see here. Or, I don't know, maybe I'll figure out exactly what stuff is going on. Figure out what time I should be heading out and stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a time to be driving. You know, you can't be, uh, you can't be driving drunk or anything like that. You can't be driving sleeping. Very dangerous thing to do, and I do not want to you know, put myself and others in danger here. So, yeah. Taking out some of this stuff here. I luckily didn't even need to use like most of the uh, most of the cables and stuff uh, that I packed here. Oh, I have this plate as well. Oh, 
Alright. Um, yeah, it's technically legal, but it's essentially no different from driving. Well, drinking and driving, other than it being legal. Yeah, but I mean, you're still supposed to, you know, get a full, uh, get a full rest and, you know, if you're on something like the highway and you're feeling tired, then you'll pass a little stop or something like that. Or just like, you know, pull over and pass out of your vehicle for a little while, do what you got. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna handle all my cables and stuff. I have a lot of cables. You know. So I'll just start shoving stuff into my cable bag here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know here. I might unplug my headphones while there's still be audio on the stream, I wonder. Uh, let's just start dumping controllers. Yeah, you can tell that this has been on icy floor. Oh, it's so cold to the touch. My goodness. My, oh my. Let's see here. Yeah. Everyone's packing away. Seems like. Yeah, look how empty the row over there is now. Jeez. Yeah, this has been a. Uh, Quite the thing. This is gonna be such a pain in the butt setting everything back up again at home again. You know, like when I go to something like Fragapalooza, at least that's going on for four days. You know, it's like, yeah, I can prepare to be there for a little while and spend several nights. Whereas this, it's like one 24 hour event. I still brought, you know, my whole setup and stuff like that. Like, this is my regular stream PC and stuff here. I do have a secondary PC that I made from like old recycled parts. From like my old PC builds that I built with the intention of being able to bring to like events and stuff like that when I don't want to haul my entire rig. But with recent stuff going on, I didn't really have the chance to put everything onto my secondary computer that I needed. I guess I didn't really do any game stuff on my PC. So, you know, I guess just OBS would have been good enough, but you know, even importing that data there and getting my hotkey set up and all that. So I didn't really get the chance to do so took a lazy approach and just like completely dismantled my whole setup at home and now I'm gonna have to put that all together again. Maybe if I do something like this in the future I'll just use that secondary PC of recycled parts and actually put that thing to good use instead of just collecting dust. Maybe. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Built for and then I didn't even use it for that. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, something like the freeway would not be good to do there. No, it should be audio after I'm plugging headphones. Yes, as long as there's another audio input. Yeah, there will be, but I would have to switch it around. Okay. What I'll do, I think. Um, yeah, let's see here. Let us see. What time is it? It is currently 10.20 a.m. So if I got here at like 6.20... I have been here a little while, let's just say. You know, a capture card might require at least somewhat good graphics card. Um, oh, I can finish my water here. I can unplug my stream deck. Woo. Don't need this plugged in right now. Go ahead and wrap this up. Yeah, this is a handy little thing. I like using The hotkeys are nice, and I relied on them a decent bit today from yesterday. Mostly. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I might need to just put this video in the stream here in a second. So I can roll up my mouse pad. This is the first time I've ever used this mouse pad. I got it at a, I got it at Fan Expo. Because my Eevee mouse pad at home is kind of falling apart, and I thought in case the day comes I want to replace it, then I have a spare. So ended up using this this time from uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So you know, it was cool to use this for the first time. Let's roll up all nice here. Yeah, it served me well today, even if I barely used my mouse pad for anything. Because yeah, I'm doing almost completely switch stuff. And just the very basics on my computer. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Take this out. Got my glasses. Well, there's definitely a couple people at the ends that are still doing a little bit of gaming stuff, but you know, it's clearly wrapping up here. Everyone's making their way out. Stuff is put away. I don't know where any of the frag people are that I saw earlier. But yeah, this is a this has been a little bit of a time. Today comes uh, there is another future November 24-hour charity stream. There's a good chance that it might end up, you know, being something like this again. Maybe, maybe, maybe like Fragapalooza, who knows, maybe this will be a recurring thing. We'll see, or maybe it'll be back in my office. Who knows? Any ones I do during May would just be in my office anyway, but we'll see. We'll see how things play out. But, hope everyone that tuned into this little adventure here was able to enjoy the first ever 24-hour cherry stream that I should probably speak towards my microphone. And put it here. Was it, hope everyone is able to enjoy the first 24 hour cherry stream. Yeah, the cable came a little bit loose, so my whole outro thing just got completely cut out. Appreciate the heads up there, or else I would have just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was just saying, you know, I appreciate everyone that tuned into, you know, the past 24 hours of adventures here. At, you know, the very first 24-hour cherry stream that was not streamed at home. Instead of being here at an unexpected other place like the West Edmonton Mall Ice Rink. Hope that, that was an enjoyable time here. And yeah, I appreciate everyone that stopped in and hung out for this cherry stream to help support a awesome cause like the Starlight Children's Hospital and greatly appreciate everyone who donated. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say because I am insanely sleep deprived. So I am going to finish getting packed up as it seems like a lot of people are doing here. You know, things are, uh, things are going down. <laughs> yeah, good night. Yeah, I'm going to get home and I think I'm going to pass out or I'll probably wake up late tonight or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I know my body needs rest now. But I'm gonna be a little bit out of sorts for a little while. And yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, this is an interesting little adventure. And this is gonna be such a massive pain in the butt setting everything back up again at home. <laughs> I really gotta figure out setting up my other PC for a <laughs> for a potential next time if this ever happens again. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but, you know. <laughs> Something or other where it's time to get some rest. So, yeah. Take care, all. And until next time, see you. Goodbye.